Right, Arsenal face Sevilla tonight, so looking to get back to winning ways in the competition after that defeat to Lens. Gets, let's go live to Gail Davis, who's in Spain for us. So, Gail, Arsenal fans have been rife with this discussion on their goalkeeping situation online. What can they expect tonight, do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thanks very much, Vicky. Good afternoon. These two, you're on air, guys, OK? But they were debating the AF uh, TV gents to my right who starts in goal this evening. And it's really the, the place we have to start, isn't it? Because it is dominating uh, proceedings. Yes. Who gets your vote? Well, I'm a big fan of Aaron Ramsdale. I think he's, you know, he's won the hearts of a lot of Arsenal fans. But for me, who I'd want to see, personally, I want to see Aaron Ramsdale back involved in the fold. But I feel like Arteta's going to go with David Rye. I think I don't see him being dropped at all. Um, what about you? Yeah, 100% agree with that. Like, I think uh, it should be Ramsdale. I think after seven games, I don't think Rye's done enough to, to merit uh, starting and being the number one at this moment in time. But we know what Mikel's like and Rye will start. Small margins. He might even be captain as well. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, he gets very cross and we keep badgering him about this. Like one game, he says, it's not going to change my mind. But he, it's sort of been created, this narrative, hasn't it, by going out and getting Raya over the summer. Mm. I, how does it end? How, oh, how does it end oh. is, is a... It, it, listen, it's Premier League football, it's a high level, it's top level football, it is, it's a harsh industry football. And I think fan, us as fans, we're, we're, we're hurt by it because I think when the window opened, no one said to improve Arsenal, no one looked at the goalkeeper position. I certainly didn't, but Arteta goes with small margins. They must have seen something, whether it's him or Naki Kana, the, the goalkeeper coach, and said, that's what we need to improve. How does it end? Well, the way it's going, if I don't see, if we don't see Ramsdale tonight or on Saturday against Sheffield, I don't actually see Ramsdale feature unless it's the, the uh, League Cup games, and that probably means a swift exit, which pains me. Yeah, well, yeah, it will end in that, because if you look at it uh, with Turner, of course, he, he wanted for his World Cup and um, playing Ramsdale for America. Does for England. Same yeah, exactly. thing for England, and, and, and the reason he's at Forest is because of that, that reason of being the national number one. He wants to nail down that. Obviously, Ramsdale's in the same sort of position, so for me, um, if, look, listen, if I was Aaron, I w as much as I love the Arsenal and everything like that, I would be knocking on his door in January and saying that, you know, I want out. What's wow. interesting is the whole way along, Mikel said, you know, it's on form, it's like any other player. <laughs> but it doesn't feel like any no. other player because we were talking off air, the likes of Tommy Yassi could well start, couldn't yep. Can he for Zinchenko tonight, replaced yeah. him at half time. You look at Kai Havertz pushing for a starting place, um, Trossard looking for a start starting place. Mm. There's not that debate around that, is there? There's not. I think this one is, is, is stealing, stealing the headlines and the conversations all over online. but. It's because I don't think there's much in it between the two and, and, and Arteta, like he said, yeah, you're right. He said if he's on form, players on form, they'll get the, get the nod. But it hasn't been that way because if we look at Ryan's past performances, I mean, you said in seven games, I haven't made a decision to say that he's definitely levels above Aaron Ramsdale. I think in the past two, he's made big errors that will warrant Aaron Ramsdale to start, but I don't see it happening. What other changes do you want to see tonight? Well, I, listen, I'm a big Shinchenko fan, I have to say that, but I think that he's... At the moment, he's off form. He's not playing that well. He was, I didn't think he was very, very good against Chelsea. Every time Tommy Asu comes in, he's been fantastic. Yeah. So I think now, if you're doing it fairly, Tommy Asu comes in. As much as chinchenko has been fantastic and is a crowd favourite, for me, I, I, would, I would go that one there. I think we have to see Thomas party tonight as well. He, he was rested, obviously, for the Chelsea game. Didn't have any minutes. Um, didn't come on the, on the pitch. So I'm he's assuming... Five, hasn't he, against it, City from the bench. There you go. So I'm assuming he's he's been rested for this game. No, not to, he might not feature at all, but oh, I expect to see Thomas he, he Partey. Might, he might be in goal. You know, <laughs> like, you know, I expect to see Thomas You've Partey. got a manager that keeps you on your toes, haven't you? He keeps us on the toes as well. What we do know is it's, it's a pretty key game. Looking back at the stats in Europe for us, Five out of the last six away games against Spanish sides, they've lost. Mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting, isn't it? And Arteta talked about emotionally getting it right this evening, and it does take a bit of experience, but this side needs to grow into this competition, and it, and it, it feels like you need to leave with some points. You're, you're 100% right there. I feel like, and I know this wasn't the Spanish side, but RC Lons, we, we, I don't know, it felt like the team 
They were very good. They took their chances very well. Good side, but the atmosphere and everything—it felt like we just weren't prepared for what they what they brought us. And I know it's not a Spanish side, but we need to, like you said, grow for these games. We need to be make sure we're ready when we're at home. We play, we beat PSV. That was very comfortable. With Champions League, like Saka, all the big players stepped up. They said, "This is our moment. We're back in the Champions League." But ever since, it's been a bit up and down. I do worry for this game as well because you know Seville coming off the back of drawing against their league leaders Real Madrid, so they're going to be up for it and, and, and infused as well. They got. Ramos to be up for it, Ramos, only. Oh, we saw, we saw he was. You know how he's going to be with his dark arts. So they got a new manager as well, uh, Diego Alonso. So they're going to have a manager bounces. There's a lot to play at. So, but you're right. I think Arsenal really need to take this game and take it seriously because. A lot of the fans want a, 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 um, a cup run, a really good cup run in Champions League, and to do that, you've got to beat the, the teams in this group. Yeah, and obviously, like, I think Arsenal have got to get something from this game. I, I do believe it. I, I think if we lose this game, we're in, we're in danger of uh, being back in the Europa League and, and singing f uh, four years of like getting into the Champions League to be out of it so early is a lot of pressure. Mm. Got to get something from the game. I wouldn't be too disappointed if we get a draw today, but I think if we was to lose here, it puts pressure on the home games and a lot of pressure for on Arteta. I think it's not since 2002 they haven't qualified when they've been in the Champions League to a knockout thank stage. You. But yeah, let's let's you. finish on a positive <laughs> yes, because <laughs> what we find, well, looking back at those stats, Jesus, he seems to have stepped up on European night, scored in both of the the games so far. What, what about him for um, first goal this I evening? I think he's quality, absolute quality. Like, you a big know. fan of Jesus. I'm, I'm a big fan. Like, you know. I didn't think he was as good as what he was until he came to the Arsenal. Like, you know. But outstanding. Listen, the front three, I, if he goes with that front three of Jesus, Martinelli and, and Saka, that is as good as anything in the Premier League and hopefully in Europe. And whoever doesn't make it, you've got a pretty strong bench these days yeah. to rely on as well, haven't you? Strong. Thanks very much, gents. Go enjoy. And we'll have plenty more build-up to kick off here this evening uh, as Arsenal take on Seville. Brilliant stuff. Thank you very much, Gail.